In this video, I will show you how to perform the spectroquant method with Metla Toledo's Easy Plus UEVIS spectrophotometers. In this category, more than 150 predefined methods are available. By scanning the 2D barcode of a test kit, the corresponding method starts automatically. This ensures the correctness of the results. Let's start with the first test kit. Click SpectroQuant on the home screen. This activates the SQKit reader. To enter the method, I have to scan the barcode on the test tube. I have to open the lid and turn the cuvette carousel into the 60 mm position. Now I can insert the tube. I have to ensure that the barcode is aligned with the SQKit reader. During inserting the tube, the instrument starts automatically the correct method. If no zero adjustment is available, I am requested to insert a zero cell. I am replacing the sample tube with a zero cell and close the lid to start the measurement. To measure a user reagent blank, I click on blanks and tap on the slider. As no user reagent blank value is stored, I am confirming to measure one now. The instrument asked me to insert the reagent blank cell. I am inserting the reagent blank cell, close the lid and the measurement starts automatically. By clicking the start button, I can repeat the measurement and the instrument is calculating the mean value of the replicates. By clicking the back button, I am confirming the reagent blank measurements. The letter R indicates the activated user reagent blank. In Settings tab, I can define the desired citation the desired unit and other test kit specific parameters. Now the method is ready to use. By clicking on sample, I am requested to insert the sample. I am inserting the sample cell, close the lid and the measurement starts automatically. To measure additional samples with the same settings, simply click on the start button again. I am now directly asked to insert the sample. On the result screen, I can change the citation and unit and the result will be recalculated automatically. For test kits with an auto selector, the barcode can easily be scanned. Afterwards, the instrument is informing which path lengths are allowed for this test kit. The pop-up can be confirmed by moving the X path holder into the correct position. The instrument asked me to insert the zero cell again. Close the lid and the zero adjustment measurement starts automatically. Now I am asked to insert the sample. Let's open the lid again, replace the zero cell with a sample cuvette. I close the lid and the measurement starts immediately. And here is the result. To measure additional samples with the same settings, simply click the start button again. I am now directly asked to in the insert the sample. That's because the blank measurement is stored for 7 days and no new blank determination is necessary, even if I am leaving the method. I hope this short introduction into spectroquant measurements was helpful. Don't miss our other product training videos on photometric, scanning, color and quantification measurements. See you soon!